timing was important just because you know, you know, there had been so much turmoil over the last two years. We needed some wins for the company, and part of that win was going into new space and feeling fresh and having a fresh start. When we came here and saw the raw space, um, it, was, it felt as big as a football field and, and very, very open, and it was exactly what we wanted. The first task at hand was, of course, um, restructuring our balance sheet and really looking at the financials of the company. But the other real critical piece of um, our transformation into the new Dynagy was how we operate and how we work together as a team. And part of that was uh, to move our offices from a fairly significantly uh, sized floor plate where people didn't necessarily see each other on a regular basis and the executive management team was in somewhat of an ivory tower. As an executive management team, we didn't want to operate that way. As the CEO of the organization approached me in third quarter of last year, he said, I need for you to put us into a new headquarters. I want you to find it, I want you to locate it, I want you to negotiate the deal, and I want to be in by summer of 2012. We located out of a, a uh, penthouse, 208,000 square foot location, to a 62,000 square foot location that's a lot closer to the ground on the 14th floor. Mike, when, you know, one of our early meetings, he said that they were making a radical transformation with their company and the architecture needed to support that. I mean, that told us a lot. By and large, most industries are going to higher percentages of open plan. You know, usually a ratio of 80% open plan, 20% closed. So, you know, Dynagy was really, I mean, there, there they were going even beyond that saying, I mean, everybody's sitting in open plan. The CEO, all the executives, we're all sitting in the same workstation everybody else is. And we, in, in our own research that the firm does, have data that shows that the highest performing companies also have higher percentages of collaboration. I was the interior designer, so I worked on the finishes primarily and those that were applied to the furniture. I did work with um, Larry and the furniture and again, you know, I said on the workstations that we went with white just to keep it consistent throughout the space since we did have so many other colors going on and they seemed really excited about it and I think that that certainly helps. I mean, you definitely want your client to feel just as passionate and just as excited about what you're doing. As we were designing this particular property, one of the things that I, I asked my architects and my designers to really take a look at is, can we potentially certify this project as a lead project? We have approximately 30,000 square foot of raised floor that's used refurbished raised floor. We utilized approximately 62,000 square foot of refurbished and used uh, cubicle furniture, office furniture. Uh, we've had a long-term relationship with Furniture Basics and Larry Horning. Uh, we didn't need to go to market. We were right there where we needed to be. We understood what we needed to have as far as furniture goes. We immediately contacted Larry and his team. They got out in their network to see if, it, if they could find the specific type of furniture we we're looking for. And lo and behold, it was no time at all that he located it in the upper Midwest. As we went out and sourced the market to take a look at what was really out there, it really became very evident to us that we were going with recycled furniture, refurbished. Uh, the pricing associated with that, it was two-thirds savings compared to new, and it's just outstanding, wonderful furniture that's been refurbished, new fabrics. For this project, I think it turned out wonderfully. I mean, I, th I think it gave them a fresh start, a, you know, a change for their space, and I think it was really indicative of who they are as a company, where they're going. And uh, the folks who are now occupying it actually enjoy the furniture very, very much and truly don't even know it's refurbished. We had 208,000 square feet of furniture that we needed to do something with at our penthouse space. Furniture Basics, Larry and his team, we're going to be pulling as much of this furniture out of here as the potential new tenants don't want, and we're going to be putting that out to the market to be refurbished for some other prospective tenant moving into new space.